Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to be playing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, The Manhattan Project on the NES. This came out in 1992 by Konami. I can play two players. The A one, you can hurt each other, and B, you don't hurt each other. Alright, let's get into it. You have your selection between all four turtles. Um, you can change them, but only after you lose a full life. Like, you can't switch them in the middle of your life. The turtles do have their um, advantages and disadvantages. Donatello has the longest reach with his weapon. Uh, Michelangelo takes the longest to swing his weapon. Raph is the quickest with his weapon, but he's also got the shortest reach. And Leonardo's kind of in the middle. They also all have their own special turbo attacks that you can do by pushing A and B at the same time. Alright, let's pick Don. The turtles are enjoying their vacation on a beach in Florida. When suddenly... Come on, April's report is just about to start. Here in New York, crime is escalating every day. Gee, what happened? Bummer, dudes! It's Shredder! Turtles, I'm taking April along with Manhattan Island. If you want them back, come and get them. Scene 1, let's go Turtles. The start of a long, hard battle is beginning. Uh, they're not kidding, this game is uh, like a marathon. <laughs> it's a pretty long game for NES, but uh, it's a very fun game if you love beat-em-ups. Your fingers will go numb from time to time, but that's alright. There is a pause button. <laughs> uh, so to start it off, you have a few different types of moves. You have your basic hit, you have your kick. Um, if you push down and B, you can do this little flip. And if you push A and B together, you do your special. Which uh, is like this. But it does use a bar of health every time you do that. Once you get down to one health, you can just keep doing it. Like, as long as you don't get hit, you won't die from it. So that's pretty cool. So once I get down to, like, one bar, I just start using it as much as I can. <laughs> Especially on bosses. Um, you do get extra lives in this game. Uh, the funny thing is, the manual says you get an extra live every 25,000 points. But that's definitely not true. Um, I found that you get them every 50,000 points up to 100,000. And then once you get 100,000, you get them every 100,000 after that. Up to 500,000. And then after that, you don't get extra lives anymore. Um, so... You get points from um, your different attacks, give you different amounts of points. If you destroy an enemy by a kick, you get 400 points. If you flip them, you get 400 points. If you destroy them by your basic attack, you get 600 points. And if you do it, if you destroy them with your special, you get 200 points. So just something to keep in mind. Not that it really matters. Um, you don't really got to worry about getting points that much because there's so many enemies. You're definitely going to hit the 500,000 points either way. Uh, I grew up playing um, Turtles 2. I used to play it all the time. It's still one of my favorite NES games. So I've been very excited to try this game. And it definitely did not let me down. I feel like it took everything that was great about the second one and kind of added on to it even more. Graphics are awesome. Music's awesome. Um, there's eight really cool levels. Everything from like a water level to the Technodrome, sewer level. And there's also tons of really cool boss fights. Uh, there's still pizza in the game for health, but it's like very sparse.
So you do get three continues, but my goal today will be to try and beat it without using a continue. Uh, I'm far from an expert at this game. I just started playing it a few days ago. So we'll see if I can do that. But I might have to use one continue like on the last part. Either way, your lives can go very quickly. Uh, when you're fighting the bosses and stuff, if you get like stuck in a corner or something, you could die like real easily. If you fall in those holes, you do take a little bit of damage. So I find the best way to get the enemies is to not walk directly at them. Um, kind of like go up and down and then get close enough to them. And then you can hit them a lot easier. Here's our first boss here. Uh, when he starts blinking, that means he's getting closer to dying. Yes. And if you beat the boss and you have like two bars of health like this, when you start the next scene, you'll get all your health back. Only when you complete the, the whole scene. Alright, so we just hit over 50,000 points. There's our first one up. Scene 2. Cowabunga dudes, let's ride the wave back to Manhattan. I always love levels like this. I always thought they were so fun. Uh, I find it on parts like this a lot better if you just stay near the bottom of the screen. Uh, those things will electrocute you. Alright, these helicopters are kind of annoying. 
You want to kick them, but you have to, like, kick the top part of them. Because if you kick the bottom part, it won't hurt them. You'll get hurt. This is still part of the same scene. Now you see when I'm walking, there's this little like red triangle. See right there? Once you go up to it, uh, a thing will pop out of there. And if you got Donatello, you could just do that. Like you don't even have to mess around or anything. I'm, I'm sure you probably can't do that with Raphael. There's also a gun that comes out of the floor, yeah, just like that. Alright, looking for that triangle again. There it is. I'm not sure if you have to destroy them. They're good points, and it's nice to get them out of the way. Let's try to get close enough to him so I can grab him. Alright. It's the next boss. stand slightly down, you can hit him. Just like that. Now that comes in handy a lot, especially like for the later bosses. For Krang especially. Here's our second life. And it shows time, but you don't see the time anywhere like on a screen, so I don't know. I don't know if you can actually like run out of time if you die or what, but I, I've never had that problem. Scene three, watch your step along the bridge of danger. Oh, 
Obviously, you don't want to fall off. Uh, if you do, you don't, like, lose a whole life. You just take some damage. Uh, these guys I try to separate and then just like do little kicks on them. But they can be annoying sometimes. As the game goes on, it definitely gets harder. Like the last couple levels. Um, especially the last level, it kind of seems to take forever. And you have to fight two bosses. Or actually three, if you think about it. And the last boss takes so many hits. It takes a lot. Alright, you want to make sure you jump kick those guys, or just jump straight up and let them throw their balls first. There's also other ones that have, like, uh, weights. Like, big weights. This is another time where the reach or your weapon comes in handy. So those guys will just keep slapping you. If you try to jump kick them, they'll usually hit you too. Alright, yeah, I forgot this level actually has two bosses. The fight Slash. Keep slicing me up. Alright, I'm at one health. Ah. Oh. Well, that's not good. I already lost my first life. So that's the point where you can switch weapons if you want. The thing is, there's a pizza right here, so I really didn't want to die there, but what are you going to do? Usually I could do a little better on that boss. Thank you. 
Alright. So now we fight Bebop. He's super easy. All you gotta do is wait for him to swing his weapon, then give him a kick and you can move away. Scene's over after the boss, so I don't mind doing my special a little bit. Try to speed this up. There we go, he's blinking. Got him. That definitely sped it up. That's a sweet ride, too. I wonder if anybody's ever, like, recreated that in real life. <laughs> Probably. Alright, took the blimp. really wish I didn't die in that round, but it's okay. New York has been destroyed. Meanwhile, Manhattan is suspended in the sky. So when I first saw that, I thought like the whole level was going to be like this. Because that would be pretty crazy. That would be pretty hard, just having this much space. But it opens right up. Some of their projectiles are very hard to dodge. I almost got another life. guys are kicking my ass.
Come on, separate, separate. Taking a lot of hits on this. Just foot soldier statues. These guys are annoying. They jump at you and then they like walk away from you. In the second one, some of the cars would like drive out at you. That always freaked me out. Be nice if there's like a little more pizza in this game. Like well, at least the pizza when I got down here. All right, here's the boss. Come 
really don't want to die. Yes! Woo! One bar of health. Oh, that was nice. That makes up for the other life I lost, I guess. <laughs> Going underground, dudes. This dangerous sewer leads to the Technodrome. Yeah, it's also important to watch the shadows of the enemies, so then you'll know exactly, like, where they are. Sometimes it's t hard to tell, like, where you need to be to hit them. These little guys, like, dive bomb you. Thank you. 
Mausers. Get off of me, please. One bar of health again. Oh, wait a minute. I don't even think I beat the level. I didn't beat the level. That was stupid. Oh, no. I always forget about that. Oh. Oh, no. And I just switched to Michelangelo. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, be careful when you're... Uh, Coming back in. You might end up picking a different turtle. Well, at least now I can show you what Michelangelo does. how slow he is. the boss and here's your pizza so if I could have made it all the way to here that would have been awesome all right here comes leatherhead Keep doing my special on accident. Thank you. 
No! That takes your life away. Alright, well, at least let me pick the right turtle, please. Come on. Oh, so we're only already down to four lives. It's not too great. Let's find April, then we'll get that Bogart Shredder. guys you just want to keep flipping if you try to like jump kick them you'll get hurt these guys are in the second game Ah, I didn't mean to do that. All right, that's kind of annoying when you're wasting your special. Well, not wasting it, but you're wasting your life. Come on. Come on up here. There we go. These guys are also in the second game. All right, go up here. I find I have better luck up here. Like, I usually don't get... Oh, now I'm going to. <laughs> I was going to say, I usually don't get it as much up here. There we go.
Alright, now I believe we can only get one more extra guy. You gotta make sure you hit him high enough up or else you'll bounce off him like that. Kidding me right now. Here we go, your shredder.
Yep, there's another life. I mean, we're doing good, but I'm probably going to have to use a continue on the end. Thank you. Look. Isn't that Crank's spaceship in the sky above Manhattan Island? And when I first did this, I was like, oh, I beat the game. Well, hey, Shredder's getting away. Turtles take to the sky. There we go. I believe that's the last one up we will get. Unless we use another continue. When you use a I mean, when you use a continue. If you use a continue, your points reset. And the good thing about that, especially at the last level, is it gives you a chance to get another extra life, a couple extra lives. Right off the edge, terrific. Unfortunately, you don't get your life back right there. Or, I don't think anywhere in this level, do you? I really wish they at least kept the extra lives going. I don't know why they stopped it at that number.
I have to think for the sake of the video. After this level, I might just let myself die at some point. So I can get that last continue on the last... I mean, not last continue. My first continue on the last part. So that way I'm not wasting time. Come on. Oh my god, I fell for it twice in a row. Not the third time. more annoying, those guys or the guys with the boomerangs? Probably these guys. Okay, that sign is electrified, so if you touch it, you'll take some damage. Come down here, big guy. Hands are going numb. <laughs> Yeah, you don't want him to do that. It takes your life away.
No! sucks. He was two hits away, and I could have had full life again. It's okay. Still doing really good. See, I went over 600,000. I didn't get any more lives. Cowabunga. We have to hurry in order to stop Shredder and save Manhattan. Alright, so what I'm going to try to do is get past this next part. Up to, like, one of those giant Mausers. And then after that, if you die, you'll start right there. All in all, I'm still doing really well.
pizza. Let's see if I can get rid of these guys first before I try to get it. I don't know though. Come on over here. Stop smacking me. They walk back so fast and they move forward so slow. Another one of those big Mausers. Since it doesn't really matter, I'll just use my special. There we go. Now we are going to the next part of the Technodrome, but you don't get your life back. So at this point, if I die and was to use a continue, I'll start right here. So I'm just gonna let him get me. So that way I'll start with three lives and hopefully be able to get through this next part. You see how quick they take your life. If you're not hitting them or dodging, you could die really fast. And the bosses are even quicker. Alright, there we go. Alright, let's use a continue. We'll start right here. Let's beat this baby. Like I said, the cool thing is now I point start over, and once you get up to 50,000, you get another life. Stop hugging me. All right, more of these guys. It's nice of us to, to give them a pe uh, some pizza, but... If it was right at the beginning of this part, it would be a lot better. Alright. Let me see. Can we get to the next part? Oh, no. I'm gonna grab it. Oh, man. These guys always get me.
Alright, those little things will shoot at you. So you just don't really want to be on the same level as them until you're ready to hit them. Enemies just don't stop. <laughs> Almost got 50,000. Finally, just about at Krang. Here we are. Alright, so this is one of those guys you want to try backing into the wall. And once you do that, you can hit him. If you don't do this, like, it's so hard. 
But after taking so much damage, his legs and his top half, like, split apart. And then they go back together after you do so much more damage to him. Just look how many hits he's taking. I try to move on different like levels of it as you can see I'm going down bottom try to lead the top half down bottom because if you have them both on the same level it's like very hard this guy won't leave me alone back together. Lost the life there. Oh, I switched to Leonardo. That's not a big deal, though. Just look how many hits he takes. Can you go back together, please? so many times. There he goes. Now when he comes back, you want to make sure you push him back to the side if you can. took so many hits. Okay, so the good news is it gives you like 50,000 points for beating him, so that will give us another extra guy. There we go. Alright, final boss, final fight. Super Shredder. And it's kind of the same thing if you like push him back if you walk at the right thing you want to hit him when he's doing this and then you want to try to watch out for the laser and then just keep doing keep trying to avoid him until he does this again Ugh, the electricity is kind of hard to avoid by it. There we go. 
Oh. Yeah, he hurt you. A lot. Stop kicking me. Since I'm at one health. Alright. Alright. So I, I have enough guys that I'm not really worried about losing my health. He's blinking, he's blinking. Yes! Alright. Not bad. Woo! It's definitely a tough game. So I'm sure with a little more practice I could beat it without using a continue, and that could be something to work on. I may try that again sometime. Congratulations, Cowabunga. Ah, uh, definitely an amazing game. One that any NES fan should definitely have in their collection. I know they just came out with that uh, Turtles collection on the Switch and other systems. And I'm pretty sure this game's on that. But it's nothing like playing it on the original system, the original controller. It's beautiful graphics. It's just the way it's meant to be played. <laughs> Mother Mauser, that's her name. Yeah, this is definitely one of my uh, newer favorites of games that I've played. I never realized it was this good. Super Shredder. Even the credit music is awesome. <laughs> Thank you for playing. Well, all right, guys. I want to thank you for watching. There'll be more videos to come soon. Have a good one. Bye.